What's up guys? Welcome to our first Sundays in the Sauna video. For whatever reason, I find myself wanting to do something creative on Sunday afternoons. It's a very common thing. Love to be in the sauna. It's usually very uncomfortable at 180 degrees. Right now it's a nice little 110. So this is our first Sundays in the Sauna video on our YouTube channel. Maybe there'll be more videos, maybe there won't. Um, but today I wanted to actually talk about testosterone replacement therapy and my experience with that and how it's helping. First, I'm not a doctor. Please get your own medical advice. And second, if you are over the age of 30, you should absolutely be getting your blood checked once a year. You need to know where it's at. Like you, you would, you are going to change the oil in your car, of course, when you need to, at least if you know anything about engines and knowing what is going on internally in your body is an absolute must. And the only way to do that is to get your blood sampled. So you need to be getting your blood tested once a year anyone um, over the age of 30 in particular, I think should be doing that. And I have been doing that. I'm 38 now. I've probably been doing that since around 30 or 31. So I've probably been getting my blood tested every year for seven or eight years now, and certainly plan to continue the rest of my life. One of the things that popped up in the last year or two, maybe, um, although I don't remember so much about it being two years ago, but it's just that my testosterone was low. In the fall of 2021, it was low enough that um, my doc said that we should monitor it through the winter going into 2022. And so we um, tested my blood, blood again for this in the spring of 2022. And uh, it did not improve at all. It was actually a little bit lower. My testosterone levels were a little bit lower. And I mean, I was pretty, I was, I feel like I was already pretty dialed in with um, diet and exercise. I was doing CrossFit five days a week, had been for a year or two up until that point. Uh, diet wise, yes, I have a habitual, I'm a habitual snacker, um, but I don't eat until usually one, two, three o'clock every day. So I kind of have that intermittent fasting going on. I've been doing that since probably 2015 or 16. I eat mostly real food. Um, I eat great. The only exception is in the evening, I like to snack and that's a little bit of an issue. But aside from that, doubts, diet's pretty dialed in. So there really wasn't like another place to go, it seemed like, to increase the testosterone levels. And I was feeling low energy, low mood. Um, I hate to admit this, but I know that I deal with depression from time to time. And my sleep was good. But um, just the way I was feeling, I was interested to see what testosterone replacement therapy could do for mood and health in general, well-being and so forth. And I probably bumped into, I bet it was at least four or five of my buddies um, in the last two years that started testosterone replacement therapy. And this was something that was not on my radar whatsoever. Um, until probably two years ago. And I just didn't know anything about it. I didn't even know it really was a thing. So it just wasn't on my radar at all. And all these guys, probably half a dozen guys, my age or older, all these guys were probably between like, you know, 39, 38 and 45 years old, call it. And um, after, you know, like I said, probably four to six of them got on TRT None of them were doing it for erectile function, for reasons of erectile function. They were all doing it for uh, low energy, poor sleep, sleep apnea. Um, I don't know much about that or how testosterone has an effect on that, but it does. Um, just the general health and well-being effects. And so after a number of them got on it, then I got more interested and thought, well, maybe this is something that I should consider for myself as well. And so I started on testosterone replacement therapy May of 2022. My total testosterone at the time was 342 and my free T was 7.41. And essentially you have your total testosterone, then you have things that bind onto it or whatever, use it up and then you have your free T. So the free T number is very important to know um, I just use a local place. It's called the Low T Center. They mail shots to my house. I give my, it's a self-administered shot in my thigh every four days. I think it's a hundred milligrams per shot. It's a hundred something. I just do what they tell me to do. 
Um, so I give my shot, myself a shot in my uh, leg every four days, you alternate legs. And so um, August, I got my blood work retested and my total T went from 342 to 1,020 or something like that, just a little bit over 1,000. And I think the range you wanna be at, it depends on age, but it's somewhere between like, call it 500 and 1,000. And I was at like a little over a thousand by August, and again started in May, so May, June, July, August, three months in. My free tea went from seven point four one to twenty six point four, something like that. And the range for free tea, I believe you want to be in, is like fifteen to twenty five, give or take. And um, so by August, it was like dialed in, and um, then I got tested again in November, and my total tea was like 862 so it had come down a little bit and my free t november i think it was like 23 something so still good but it had backed off just a little bit but i started to and it usually takes they say like two to three months to really start feeling it because this is the hormone testosterone is a hormone it's the central hormone in a male's body so think of like how important it is to have clean oil in an for an engine well testosterone is that central um, hormone in a male's body. I mean, it is the most important from what I understand. So it needs to be right. And the effects of low testosterone can be depression, low mood, um, poor outlook, low confidence, uh, my understanding even heart issues, uh, your, it can affect the density and strength of your bones. Um, it's quite a lot of things that can go poorly when your testosterone is not correct. And I was feeling bad enough in general that quite frankly, I didn't even care if there was going to be some negative side effects. I just was, I was ready to feel different and I was ready to feel better. And by, I started mid-May and by mid-June, I, I started to feel it. I felt, one of my friends said that the way he knows how to describe it best is that he feels like there is no door that he is not willing to walk through. And I think what he's speaking to is like the confidence. Um, I felt more energy. I felt increased clarity of mind. Um, I felt stronger. Um, I gained 10 pounds in a good way. Uh, now, my gym owner says it was probably mostly water weight and he's probably correct, but it wasn't fat and I put on 10 pounds and um, and I was happy, very happy about that. Maybe lost a little bit of belly fat, but I don't know that I could say too much on that, but testosterone is known to um, help lose belly fat also. And I just really, really felt good. I tend to feel better in the summers anyway, but with it being in the summer and then kind of riding that first wave of increased testosterone, I mean, I felt freaking invincible. I felt so good June, July, August, and even September. I just felt really, really good. I felt, um, I just felt so clear. Actually, a lot of times I was like, man, I'm gonna, I need to like tone it down. Like my mind's gonna, you know, <laughs> overheat. I, I knew it probably wasn't sustainable, but I was very curious. What I felt for last summer, um, one of the things that I told people frequently was that I, the way I was feeling was that it had me wondering if what I had thought in the past, and by the past I mean like the last eight, nine, ten years, of maybe sort of a low grade depression was actually maybe not so much that, but low energy from low testosterone. And for me, the jury's still out on that. I'm not sure exactly, um, time will tell, time will tell. Um, I definitely had a mental dip in October and November of 2020, um, which, I was sort of optimistic about not experiencing, uh, but I did. So lo and behold, it's not the thing, it's not the silver bullet, it's not gonna fix everything. Um, but I felt really, really good on it. And uh, quite frankly, I feel good enough on it that I plan to, at this point, and I'm, this may change, but at this point, I plan to take um, testosterone replacement therapy the rest of my life. I don't know why I would not. It got my testosterone levels where they need to be. I feel great. Um, I was sleeping good before 
and I sleep good now. Um, so I don't notice, didn't notice much of a difference there. Um, it, you know, everyone thinks of testosterone, they just think of like sex and sexual performance and erectile dysfunction, those types of things. Again, none of the guys that I knew personally that got on TRT did that for reasons of erectile dysfunction, not a single one, uh, myself included. And um, yes, you, it, it will, um, from what I understand, it will increase your sex drive. I think I experienced that a little bit, just to put a number on it, I would say, you know, since TRT, maybe we have um, sex an extra one or two more times per week. So it's not like, um, but again, everything was good enough on that front. That was not what got me interested in this to begin with. It had to do with mood and energy, um, just overall well-being and health uh, outlook, that type of thing. Um, so that's been my experience. It's been a very positive experience. I intend to be on it, um, like I mentioned, the rest of my life at this point. And um, I have heard numbers as low as guys with their total T being in the 100s. Um, a couple people recently that I was talking to about this, they were like in the 200s. So I would just say, if you're a dude and you're over 30 years old, you absolutely need to be getting your blood tested every year. Please, please, please do that. And if you're over 35 experiencing low energy, poor sleep, um, sleep apnea issues, uh, low confidence, um, et cetera. There's other things you can Google it. I would, I would check your testosterone levels, depression. I would check if someone's dealing with depression and they're a male and they're over 35, 38 years old, um, uh, testosterone should absolutely be one of the things that gets checked. And I think that gets missed a lot. Um, so that's been my experience. It's been positive. And um, look, if any of you have any, you know, want to chat more about this or whatever, send me a, a message or a DM. I'd be happy to. It's certainly helping me and hope it can help you as well.